Aftermarket LED lighting has become a big industry, and I love upgrading all of the lights in all of my vehicles to LED technology. Enter the Dial Dynamics SL1 headlights. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jason, and if you've never been here before, this is my garage, and this is why I love to make videos. How-tos, general garage life, car stuff, plus I really love to do product reviews. Now, I've reviewed inexpensive LED headlights in the past in my previous videos, and recently, Diode Dynamics reached out to me and wanted me to take a look at their SL1 LED headlight. Um, by the way, I got busted in previous videos for calling them bulbs, so from now on, I'll work on not saying that anymore. I'm not going to make any promises. But anyway, let's check these out. Before I get into the unboxing, let's talk real quick about Diode Dynamics history. They've been in business right here in the USA for over 10 years, and they only produce true OEM grade products that are fully tested and validated to OEM specifications. This LED headlight is engineered and produced right here in the USA, which is really rare for an LED headlight. This one that I'm testing is for my daily driver Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's an H11, but they have the full range for your application. On the back are some high level features that I'll get into and also some specifications. I will post the full specifications in the video description. The number you're probably most interested in is the measured, not estimated lumen output, which is 1600 lumens per light. All right, let's open it up. So it comes with insulation instructions, also has features and identifiable parts. More information than you probably need, but it covers everything, including the collar adjustment, which I'll get to in just a second. And there's some troubleshooting, just in case you need it. If you need help, it tells you how to get a hold of them. The first thing you notice while taking it out is it's pretty hefty. This is a solid unit. There are three Luxion ZES chips on either side, and the location is the same as the OEM filament bulb. This is critical. This is an OEM bulb. Notice how the location is as close to factory as possible. And also note the size. This isn't much larger than the OEM bulb, meaning it can fit in just about anywhere that the OEM bulb will fit, including behind or underneath a dust cap if your vehicle has it. Brightness is not the only way to measure effectiveness of an LED headlight. The headlight housing's job is to focus light from a specific point. If it's out of focus, you're not putting light where it needs, no matter how bright it is. And the result is glare, blinding other drivers, and a reduction in safety, which is kind of against the point of having headlights to see and be seen. So you can throw 100 LED chips on a light, but if they're not positioned correctly, you will not get the same output as a few specifically designed and properly positioned LED chips. As mentioned before, there is an adjustable collar right underneath this gasket that can be rotated and locked in place so you can clock the light to match the OEM positioning. So let's talk a little bit about heat. I've said this before in my other videos. Heat management is critical. This has a lot of very smart heat dissipation properties. This is a thermally molded zinc casting, and you want to get heat to the base. These, these fins are designed to get heat to the base where the fan is. There's a copper cord circuit board in here, and it gets to that fan, via, uh, and gets the heat gets removed via the Sunon bearingless maglev microfan. Now, one of my concerns has always been what happens if the fan fails. Well, I asked Diode Dynamics about this, and they said that there's not a big concern other than uh, reduced light output and reduced longevity. However, they've never reported a failure of this fan. And this is not just like a cheap, no-name fan. This is something that's used in a lot of applications, and it's designed for much harsher conditions than this. And they've produced a great video that I'll also link in the description that shows thermal imaging of different and less effective methods. It also has a separate driver to prevent any heat soak. As shown before, a lot of the drivers are built right inside. That doesn't allow the heat to leave. It, it contains the heat within. So while you may need to mount this using some double-sided tape somewhere inside your vehicle, or you can just let it hang, but it's still great for reducing that heat. And again, leads to continual brightness and longevity. So now let's talk about design and reliability. These are indeed tested and validated to SAE standards, and they use an environmental testing chamber using advanced optical design software. And what that means is it's designed to map the entire beam pattern coming out of the headlight, not just the sheer brightness when out of the capsule. Also, as mentioned, this is designed for both projector and reflector headlights, and Diode Dynamics publishes all of their testing results on their website. It's backed by a three-year warranty. You add all this up and you get a US made OEM grade headlight with optimal cooling properties for brightness, longevity, and proper focus. 
You will not get this from any other LED headlight manufacturing company as of right now. So now that we've seen the hardware, let's go see how it performs. I've installed the Dio Dynamics SL1 right here on the driver's side and the factory bulb here on the passenger side and the difference is already absolutely striking. I mean, this is yellow and well, yeah. And here's the SL1. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the fan running. It's pretty quiet. But nevertheless, out of fairness, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually aim both headlights appropriately because it's always very important. And then I'm going to see how they do. Let's go. Now, I can't stress the importance of aiming your headlights anytime you change anything about them. What you see is not surprising at all. The Dio Dynamics provides a much brighter, much wider, crisper, uh, fuller and broader light than the factory OEM incandescent bulb. We're not shocked by this at all, but I did want to take this opportunity to at least show you the difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to get a little bit darker out, and then I'm going to go find a really dark road, and I'm going to drive down it, and we're going to see if we can uh, capture the differences between the left and the right hand side of the vehicle lighting. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put the Dio Dynamics SL1 in the driver's side, make sure that side is aimed properly, and then I'm going to go down the exact same road again, and we're going to see how much better it is. Now, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to capture it as well as what the human eye can, so I'm at least going to describe the differences that I see as we're driving. Let's get going. So once again, it's no surprise that the Dio Dynamics SL1 just has a better light output. Again, wider, brighter, crisper, broader and it, it definitely shows. And again, I don't know if the camera can pick it up the way that I see it, but it's a night and day difference, <laughs> just about literally. So what I'm gonna do now is put the SL1 in the passenger side, re-aim those headlights just to make sure I got them right, and we're gonna go down this exact same road in the same amount of darkness once again. I put the SL1 in the driver's side, and of course, it looks great. These are spectacular headlights. I really like the quality, I like the light output, I like everything about them. Now if you look around, there's tons of inexpensive LED headlights from multiple brands with made up names, questionable sources, and unknown engineering. They might be bright and they might be inexpensive, but unless the engineering is to OEM levels and the heat is effectively managed like the SL1 is, it won't necessarily put the light where it needs to be or it'll only be so bright for so long or both. I learned a lot about lighting by reviewing this headlight and while the SL1 is definitely more expensive, you do get what you paid for. It checks off all the boxes. The SL1 headlight is just one of many lighting solutions that Dio Dynamics offers. They got halo kits, LED light bars, off-road light bars, tail lights, and more. Check out diodynamics.com for the full line of LED lighting solutions with the highest quality. Special thanks to Dio Dynamics for sending these to me to check out. I'm gonna run them for a while and see how they do long term. I've also got links in the description to the products that I reviewed and also the specs of the SL1. Thanks as always for hanging out with me in my garage. It's always fun. I love your comments. Please keep them coming. I try to answer every single one of them. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. You know how that works. And I'll see you in my next video. Hey, thanks for watching this far. Dio Dynamics sent me something else too. They sent me this awesome die cut sticker and this pair of sunglasses with the Dio Dynamics logo on them. If you want them, be the first person to comment below saying you do and they're yours.